welcome to this edition of Pop and Scott Talk Baseball Playoffs. Playoffs. Um, yeah, so last week we had the first round. I'm glad I didn't put any money on it because uh, I was only right on one <laughs> of one of the four teams moving on, and uh, that was Phillies. Uh, everybody, and I, and I kind of thought, after talking to some of my friends uh, that that might go three games, but uh, that, that Phillies team just looks very, very good. Let's start with that one. So Phillies Marlins. Uh, that wasn't even a contest. Right. I, I I thought with the Marlins left-handed pitching throughout the season, you know, the Marlins won that season. Uh Head to head, um, because of that left handed pitching, but man, it just didn't matter. It the Phillies right now are on a different level, they they look good last night or yesterday evening, whenever they played. Well, I've been saying for weeks, I thought I thought they were the best team in baseball, I, they're the best, best team playing right now going in because I, we'll, we'll move to the other ones in a minute, but I just think they've had more competitive play, even though they didn't have it clinched early on, but they were in the playoffs early on. But it just seemed like the teams they were playing were had meaningful games going on. And, and it just seems like the Phillies were, were up to it. And also, I mean, that Rojas kid they brought up late in the year, it's been uh, good for them. Uh, Turner, I mean, Trey Turner, the second half, that, that was like another trade for him. Uh, Trey Turner was Trey Turner in the second half of the season. And then I've said it all along. Harper sh- comes out, and uh, he's a grown-up now. He's not a uh, – Well, Turner made a fantastic play in the eighth inning last night on that double play. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, I, and I and I still think the Marsh trade last year with the Angels and the center field, the center field slot – was a steal for him. I, I, I think it's paid off great this year for him. They needed that out solid outfielder. He's an okay hitter, but in that lineup, he could be an okay hitter and, and be uh, that guy in center field that they need because they're not very strong in in all their well with Rojas, but you know they got they got to have a weaker outfield for a better lineup. Uh, because they moved Harper to first. So, you know, I, I and Zach, Zach Wheeler, one of the most quietest pitchers in the majors, uh, comes out and spins a gym. Uh, yeah, he and Nola both. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we'll see how they do going going through the playoffs. Uh, well, Atlanta doesn't have any pitchers left. I mean, they're done. Atlanta's well, done. Well, we'll get to them now, I guess, since – because I we've been talking about it. Atlanta hasn't played a meaningful game, and I don't know how long. They got some great players, but it just reminds me of the '90s teams. Where yeah, it's just like the night I was watching them last night. I said, "This right. is this is 1990s all over again." Where they win the division every year, but when they get to the playoffs, they're horrible. I mean, they just right. they, they don't have the talent to match some of the other teams. I mean. Well, Strider pitched well last night. He can't, yeah, he he can't he also did. score runs. I mean, <laughs> he didn't say that, you know, that I know I mean, Har- good. Harper hits a blast. Um, you know, but I mean, come on, you got to, you can't win if you don't them. score. Right. Right. And that was their issue in the nineties. They could that score was the runs. Same thing. They couldn't hit like my dad used to say, son, they can't hit. They can't hit. Right. And, and you look at their lineup and you're like, man, you would that's a long lineup. You would think it's just they had one inning, and the, I tell you, the Phillies manager had a short leash on those guys pitching. Uh, you know, he he let him go a little long in the third, but I uh, took him out in the fourth, I believe. Uh, and you know, the Braves touched him up there and I believe scored a run, but if I remember correctly, because everything's kind of oh, running yeah, together oh, yesterday. Was shut out. Oh, was it a shutout? Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so there you go. Like I said, all the games kind of uh, meld together on me they, yesterday. They, they, they lost another pitcher to the sixty-day disabled list. So, 
they thought he the, uh, he was going to come back after the – if they got by Philly, it would be back for the next round. But he's if they do, he's gone. Right. So well, they, I mean, this is a best of five. And, I mean, that, that first game sets a good tone for it. You know, uh, it's – I, I I am pulling for the – if I have to say – I don't like either team, but I'm pulling for the Braves. Well, this. Atlanta, Atlanta uh, like I said last week, they had won 23 division titles in the last 35, 40 years. Right. And, and, and now it's 24 because they won this one. So they've won 24 division titles, and they got two World Series championships. Right. So the other 22, what did you do? Lost. Right. That's what right. you did. You lost. Yeah, I don't they used, and I was an Atlanta Braves fan in the '90s, and when they talked about their dynasty, what di- you don't have a dynasty if you don't win the whole ball of wax, right? And that's the only reason the New England Patriots were a dynasty is because they won Super Bowls, right? Well, that's I've always said if they're a dynasty, then the Buffalo Bills are a dynasty, right? And they didn't win anything. Right, they went to four Super Bowls in a row, but I, I just you know. I, I just, I, I think the Braves are well built, and I thought this year was going to be a difference maker, but well, this the year isn't over yet. But right, I, right, they're long, they, far they, from, they far from. Hit. They didn't hit last night. They, they didn't hit, and the Philadelphia pitching uh, against the Marlins, and in this first game last night, I mean, it's been outstanding. Right. So they played in Atlanta, and you know that's a loud place. That's a hard place to go in and play. But, you know, the Phillies went in, shut them up, and and did what they had to do. I, I just – I know they used their bullpen, quite a few pitchers. Uh, they are off today, correct, if I looked at that? Yeah, the, um, uh, the Orioles play at 4-10 yeah, or something, four, and then four o'clock. they play the, the, uh, the other American League game comes on after that in Houston, and mm-hmm. then the two National League games are tomorrow. Right, right. Okay, I was making sure I looked at that. Right. You're going to flip flop days till uh, Wednesday. The I think. Doing that, the reason they're doing that is yesterday was a weekend, so they could play all four games. To well, Wednesday, I believe, tomorrow. is all four. I think Wednesday is all four games too, if needed. Uh, I don't, maybe, maybe it is. I don't know. Uh, but I know, I know they're playing. They got two tomorrow, two today, two tomorrow, and then they'll probably have. Well, we have to wait to see who's left. After tomorrow, because who knows by, by tomorrow? I mean, the begin the, the the first series they were all sweeps. Who's what's to say this won't be? Right, that's what I'm saying. If needed, uh, because game one. Uh, so Texas Sunday, Rangers, the Texas Rangers just might be this so Wednesday. Year. Wednesday, if if needed, uh, uh, game four is all on Wednesday. Okay. I knew I saw that correct. I knew I saw. I was like, you know, well, they got to have it they wrong. Have, I just they got to have the Thursday it. off so they can play Saturday. I mean, Friday and Saturday and Sunday. Right. Yep. Yeah, because Sunday is the L- L- ALCS is the Sunday first game, and then Monday both teams, play, both leagues play. All right. Yeah. So, uh. Just wanted to make sure we were looking at that. So, also, uh, uh, Minnesota uh, swept. I didn't see that coming. Good for them. Love to see that. That team, that city deserves that. They've been supporting that team, that franchise. Uh, It's been around forever. It's been a long long time. Was the last time they won a World Series, was that with Jack Morris? Yes. And Kirby Puckett and yep. against the Braves. Yes, it was. Uh, when yeah, that great, the great showdown of Jack Morris and it had been thirteen. Uh, it had been thirteen playoffs since uh, Minnesota won one. Right, right, right. Uh, so you know they 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 swept. The, all, all games were two games done. So and then what was so impressive? They lost to. Uh, they did lose yesterday to Houston. That's. Houston, you know, at home took care of business, but Which Minnesota did, huh? Which is odd because they have a losing record at home. Right. Position. But what I wanted to point out was Minnesota was not in awe. They they came back in that game. It was five to four. I think it ended up being six four, right? 
Yep. Uh, so uh, Yordan hit, hit another one about 16 miles. Yeah. But yeah, so did Royce know. Lewis. A, a note to Minnesota, don't pitch to the guy. I mean, right. they, they walk him in another part of the game, the base is loaded. But Royce Lewis hit his third home run of the playoffs. Right. Yeah. Um, he hit right that is a rookie that's not a rookie. We have to remember. He's a rookie by name only. He's supposed to have been two years ago, but he keeps blowing out his knees. Yeah. Um, and he so, still runs like it, too. Well, he's got that hamstring or ankle or something. Yeah, I don't know. Huge. So he can't run hard, but they have him in there for one reason. His bat late in the game, he gets on base. They told him they're going to pitch run for him. So, But what I liked was they came back. They weren't. Like it, we're playing, and he. I watched some of that game early when they were down, and I liked the fact that you could tell in that game they were like they were never out of it, even four four to nothing. They were like they were still playing like it was zero zero ball game. I, I kind of like that for a team that's never been in that uh, group of players that's not been in that situation. I I, I kind of like that. Um, well, and another. Teams, a lot of these teams, you know, if you're up against Verlander like they were yesterday, mm-hmm. hey guys, all we got to do is hang around. It's a nine inning game, and he's right. not going to pitch nine innings, so we still have a shot. Well, see, I think that's what killed Toronto was the Toronto players were not happy that their coach took Barrios out against the Twins in that second game. Yeah, Barrios yeah. was pitching a good game, and they and uh, and it was there was something going on because the announcers knew he was going to get pulled for whatever reason. I don't know if the coaching staff was like we have a script because they kept talking about a script that was brought up by the management and the numbers. And once he got in any trouble whatsoever, ever they pulled him, and it didn't work out. And I guess. It didn't work out. I, I thank goodness that was the last game of the season, I guess, or whatever. But my God, I, you got to look at all the 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 teams that lost their fan bases want their managers fired. Well, that was bad management. I, I just well, hindsight is twenty twenty, sure. But Tampa Bay, when they, you know, I mean that. When he well, we're gonna get to Tampa last because we're gonna have a discussion about Tampa. Uh they did so, what they do. What's that? They did what they normally do. Right. So we're going to uh so the Arizona pleasant surprise out in the desert. Did you see that even coming? Two I, I watched I watched the first three innings last of course it was came on nine thirty. So I watched the first three or four innings and I was yeah, I did too. yeah. Um, and, I didn't get that far. And I'm gonna tell you <laughs> That first inning, boy, they jumped on Kershaw like he was a little kid. Well, and and they had a game plan. You knew that they came out and they didn't let Kershaw get deep in counts. The ball, once Kershaw got a ball across the plate, they were on it. I mean, Co- Corbin Carroll is just a beast. Uh, he hit one in the in the first series. As soon as he hit it, he knew he crushed it. He did it again last night uh, for a lineup that we don't know all their names. Man, they seem like they have a deep lineup. It just seems they like they eleven runs. Yeah, and they they've been hitting this whole playoffs, all three games so far. Uh, but the, that's what Clayton Kershaw does in the playoffs. For a guy that's supposed to be a slam dunk Hall of Famer, is he? He hasn't done it in the playoffs when it's mattered. Bur, uh, Burley is their best pitcher. So, well, I'll tell you somebody else who did who, who had. Who did was you know great in the regular season, but he had problems in the in the uh, World Series and in the playoffs. And that was Barry Bonds. Yeah, yeah. And, the, and another one was A Rod. A Rod would ball, oh, and he got in the, he got in the playoffs and he right. had a tough time. Yeah. Well, those guys Bonds didn't see many strikes in the playoffs, but early on with Pittsburgh, he did. He wasn't the same guy. Oh, uh, well, he's a he double had, hitter. He was a double yeah. hitter, and he didn't weigh three hundred pounds. Right. Uh, so I, I was the Dodgers. I, 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 I haven't, 
I'm not surprised that Arizona won, and I won't be surprised if Arizona wins that series. Uh, I just think the Dodgers uh, got into that. They won their division because the rest of the division didn't play very well to me. Arizona held the lead, what, for about two or three weeks? About a month. Yeah, and folded. And then it came back at the end. Uh, They were a very up-and-down team. Um, And it didn't surprise me that Arizona beat Milwaukee. Because Milwaukee, right. they're another one. They get in the playoffs, they don't do very well. Well, I, I just thought that Milwaukee had a better team than Arizona. Just well, well on paper, yeah. but you don't play the game on paper. Right, exactly, exactly. And it was in Milwaukee. I just thought for sure they that it was going to be Milwaukee. And I thought it was going to go three games, but I thought Milwaukee was going to be better than that. Um I mean, I can't take nothing away. The, the, the pitcher, the first two pitchers that the Diamondbacks have, and neither one of them pitched last night, They the Dodgers have to face them in the next two games. They could be three and done for the Dodgers very easily, very easily. So it, it's going to be fun to watch. I love to see what Corbin Carroll's doing. I, if anybody knows, been watching my channel, I'm a huge Corbin Carroll believer. Um, you know, I, I have high hopes for that young man. I hope his legs stay healthy. Cause that he's going to go as far as they'll carry him. Uh, but man, he, he's got a sweet bat and you, he can run those bases. Good grief. He's the win. And that Thomas kid, I didn't realize how fast he was in center field. That wasn't the same Thomas that was with the nationals. Is it? That was fast. You know, I, I, I can't. I've never. I haven't seen a close up of him, so I couldn't tell you. Right. I haven't either. I, I yeah. Uh, that he was not not a new one, but I mean, yeah. I guess he was kind of. I was like thrown off a little bit. Uh, of course, last night I was watching, or yesterday I've had three screens with football, <laughs> baseball, uh, everything going on. Awesome weekend. Uh. Now we're going to get to Texas. Texas, I, they surprised me in that first round. Two games to none. Um, like you said, they played uh, Tampa, right? Yeah. Not, not getting it wrong. So Tampa lays a goose egg. Didn't play well. But, hey, did you watch any of those games? Yeah, I watched both of them. I watched that. I watched both those games, and I watched the, uh, yesterday's game with the against the Orioles. And right. I'm telling you, Texas might be this year's Philadelphia. Well, that Josh John kid is playing out of his mind. Uh, the 21 year old. Yeah, the third baseman. Uh, that no, boy, left fielder. The 21 year old left fielder. Oh yeah. Um, what's his name? I can't remember his name. He gets on base every time up. I mean, he walks more. But than Josh anybody. Jung hit, hit launched that ball. Oh yeah, crushed it. Third base, and he plays a good third base. Uh, and then at him at the catcher spot, he's not a rookie, but he's he's been around the league for a while. But he's having a good year. Um, well, let's go back to Tampa just for a second. Tampa. That's what I I, I want to talk one thing. They are building them a new stadium next door. And I hope it's on the inside of the bridge. No, it's on the same side. It's just next door. But I hope they only put it like a – all they need is Little little League bleachers. Why? 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 Why why put a team in – That first game had 19,000 people in it. That was the lowest lowest attendance since 1920. Dad, that was all they had in the second – They didn't have 20,000 in the second game. And, and I swear that if they had 19,000, that's because uh, probably about 4,000 were dressed as seats because there was no way it was 19. I saw a picture from the stands, and there was no way it was 19,000 at that game. There was no way. That might be with the season ticket holders or whatever. I, I don't know. Um, that was sad. Why have a team in Tampa? I don't get it. It, it there's so many other places that want baseball. I'm living in an area 
they got a group now together for the Raleigh area to get a team uh, to battle the Memphis one, the Nashville one, the Montreal one, the Portland one, all these places that Birmingham, yeah, all these teams want a baseball team so bad. And you got Tampa with 19. Sad, 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 sad. It, I don't blame the players to go out and play flat. What? what is it because the, the area just ex- those are going to lose? I, I don't know. I know the area is a huge Yankees area. When the Yankees play, it's a sold out house in Tampa. But I just don't I don't get it. Why MLB just allows that to happen? It they couldn't have been happy with that. No way. That that's. Do you have any thoughts on that other than me raving about it? Well, I mean, I, it, 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 part of it was uh, in, in Florida, like in California. They, there's a million things to do. Yeah, the weather's always pretty nice. You got a million things you got you can do outside of going to a baseball game. Uh, the Trop is not the easiest place to get in and out of. Uh, okay, the stadium's it's, horrible. It's horrible getting in and out of the place. Uh, it was three o'clock in the afternoon. Some people in the United States do have to work. So in school, I mean, so <clears throat> there were different things, but then when you played afternoon games everywhere else, there were plenty of people in the stands, but I mean, it's just, it's just, it's a fact. They don't draw. Miami doesn't draw. They don't, those teams don't draw. Right. Oakland doesn't draw, but right. Oakland's problem is they never win. Well, Oakland I mean, does draw win. when they have a a viable team on the field. When when Oakland was in the playoffs, that place was sold out. It was packed, yeah. The Oakland Coliseum, that where they play, was packed when they were in the, those years that they were uh, in the playoff hunt. That place was sold out, running down the stretch. Tampa, Tampa, you can hear people having a conversation in the first row. It's so quiet. It, it, you know, it's a sad, well, I mean, if, you're sad there, if you're sitting there on your patio drinking a mimosa and you just got a side of ribs off the off the Barbie and you're sitting there eating ribs and potato salad and drinking a drink and your wife goes, hey, honey, are we going to the ball game tonight? No, I'm staying in my flip flop shorts and sitting right here. That's right. I mean, that's it, right. it's 83 degrees. Why should I go to a ball game? I mean, now, right. you know, you, you go up uh, in New York. And they say, you know, you want to go to a ball game. Well, you know, it's a big deal in New York. Well, it's, it, a big deal. It's, a, it's a way of life in a lot of cities, in exactly. a lot of areas. And those teams have histories. Even newer teams have more history, more robust. I mean, I'm trying to think a newer team like. The Nationals. Nationals. The Nationals they've only right. been around for, since, the, you know, 2000s. And I think it was 2005 or four or something like that. And, uh, but they, they have the, <clears throat> they make a, 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 they, they always point out the history with Montreal. Right. That's part of their history is with Montreal. Right. And right. they also point out that at one time the Washington Senators did win the World Series. <laughs> so, I mean, well, even I mean the Braves haven't been around around forever, right? I mean they came from Milwaukee. I'm talking about the Atlanta Braves. Yeah, they came from Milwaukee, and and uh, they had a, over three million in attendance this year, and they didn't play for anything for the second half of the season. I mean they were in first place by so. I mean you did get to see the best probably player in baseball in the second half of the season, uh, along with the most prolific home run hitter in baseball uh, with the, that tandem. But, you know, even if your team's in last place or in first place by 16 games, it's they're tough games to go watch <sighs> when your team's not really playing for nothing. Well, yeah, and then, and then uh, well, unless you really love the game and you just want to go. I mean, that's yeah. what I, I, I like to go to a baseball game just to go to the game. Yes, and, yeah, um, me too. Me and, I mean, but the Rays – I brag about their, I brag about their, uh, um, their team and how they're set up and their payroll and how they can, you know, compete with the teams that have all mm-hmm. the money. 
But when a push comes to shove, I mean, they were 20, they they were 20 and 79 when the other team scored first. And they went 33 innings without scoring a run until they got that one run in the seventh or eighth inning in the second game. I mean, they just there again, there were another Indeed. team that, that didn't hit. Milwaukee didn't hit. You right. know, I mean they just didn't hit. Miami didn't hit. Well, just uh, talk when you got good pitching. Toronto with that lineup, they didn't hit. They did. Well, outside of Bichette. <laughs> it seems they like had, Bichette they hit everything. Base, couldn't, couldn't get him. And then I'm sitting there, you know, I, I sat there the other day, and your your stepmom was sitting there. I was watching the game yesterday, and uh, uh, the Orioles got a couple of guys on, and she said, I don't hear you hollering, bunt, sacrifice. I said, there's no point. I said, I've, I've sat here and watched – of one week of playoffs and saw seven double plays where if they'd have bonded, they might have saved that, but they didn't. And they hit the double plays in all those games. I said, I'm sitting here today and I'm not, there's no point. Right. So, you know, and I said it in, uh, uh, that they got a power hitter up. So they're hoping for the best. I said, but it'll probably be a double play. And they could have bonded the two guys over the Baltimore was down by one run. Right. And so well, sure. even the announcer said something in at one point about in the, Tampa, the, the, the the announcer in Tampa said, you know, he was an old school announcer. And he said, well, I don't understand why they don't bunt anymore and try to because they used to move the guy over and, you know, try to play for that one run. Well, right. when they tried to bunt in Tampa, the moron popped up <laughs> and the pitcher made a fantastic play on it. But it, um, but it was San, you know, San, um, Santander yesterday. And I say he's not going to punt. No. And two men on, what does he do? Hits him to a double play, kill, knocks him right out of the inning. They so, hit two, I mean, Baltimore hitting the three double plays yesterday that knocked him out of the belt ball game. Well, Baltimore also, uh, their young guns did not show up, the young birds. Uh, Adley, Gunner, uh, I think Gunner finally got a hit in the eighth or ninth inning. And then he tried uh, to steal. And then, see, this is people were saying he was trying to steal second base. Okay, when he was trying to steal second base, when as soon as he got was tagged out, and I was I said, oh, my Lord, they just ran themselves out of the game. And uh, any chance. And I looked at your stepmom, and I said, he wasn't trying to steal. He was a hit and run. Because what so, you could when he ran to second base, he looked at the plate. He glanced at the plate. If you watch the reaction, they showed the reaction at the end of the, on the highlights last night, the baseball highlights. They showed it. And when he was tagged out, the manager, they showed his face and he went, What the F? Because it was a hit and run. Right. And whoever was at the plate didn't swing. Right. He didn't swing. And he said, and, and you know, Gunner was out. He hung him out to dry because yeah, when, when Gunner got up, he stared right at the the batter, like, "What are you doing?" Right. He didn't run, and the guy didn't swing. There's no reason in the, you know, I mean, everybody was so upset because it was a hit and run, and the guy didn't swing. Right. Yeah, I just. Now I they, little, they did not hit the yesterday. Steal because they're trying to cover up for the batter, but it, it was a hit and run. That's the way right. everybody reacted. Right. I mean. Well, the Orioles as a team. Um, they, if they, they lose today, they're out. I, I would, I, yeah. I mean, yeah, two none going to Texas. Yeah, I, I would think so. Uh, I just, and I mean, the pitcher didn't pitch bad. Uh, he had no. four good innings, and uh, again, an early hook because you, if you can't score runs. Your pitcher gets early hooks because you got to try to keep their score down as much as possible. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm interested to see that game today for because uh, Texas's lineup is one they got some good hitters, but they don't scare me like some of the other lineups. I'm not when you say Texas, I'm just like, yeah. Uh, well, the other thing that amazes me about Texas, <laughs> Scherzer can't pitch, Degrom can't pitch. They got another starter that's on the IL. I mean, what are they doing this with? Smoke and mirrors. I mean, right. but the thing you got to remember about Texas is that they led that division for a long time. Why? Because they had the number one batting average in the American League. Right. They yeah, do. well, I mean, they do with Seager and Simeon. That, 
the two guys that they were like everybody last year was like, I can't believe you're paying so much for. Well, they got their money's worth out of those two this year. This year, yeah. And then you got that kid, the, that 21 year old, they brought up the left fielder. They called him that when he was in the, the international league, they called him uh, three and two because he went three and two. He set a record for going three and two. And he goes three and two all the time up in the majors because that's nothing new that most people do. But he's gotten a lot of walks and he's hit, he hit a home run. Got a base hit yesterday too. Hit a home run in, uh, in Tampa. I mean, I, I, I was tickled to death uh, watching uh, that Rangers Tampa series. You know, I was kind of rooting for the, the, uh, the beast, the American League least. Um, Tampa gets knocked out in two. Toronto gets knocked out in two. The Orioles right now are on the ropes. So all of a sudden, that big beast in the American League East doesn't look that beasty to me. Yeah, that, that line, let's see. Oh, Evan Carter. That's yeah. Right. Evan Carter. Three and two. Not, and not, I mean, Adalos Garcia has had a good year, too. Uh, he, he gets, he's, that's a guy that gets lost uh, a lot. Uh, Mitch Garver batting third. I, okay. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, Evan Carter, J- Jonah, him, Nathaniel uh, Lowe, which goes by Nathaniel. When he was in Tampa, he went by Nate. And you got Josh Young batting eight. Yeah, he's, Nathaniel uh, Lowe, he's, he's the one that has the brother that plays for Tampa. Yeah, it's also a Lowe, right. Right, Not they played for Tampa, and their mom wanted to come down and watch them play when they played against each other in Tampa, but she's fighting cancer and couldn't make the trip. Mm. They had signs up in the the, ta- the stands in uh, Tampa, you know, pulling for me. I can't remember her name, but they were, you know, they had prayers going out for her, pulling for her and stuff like that. But she's battling cancer, and that's why she couldn't come see them. Yeah, I'm just looking at the Orioles starting lineup. Grayson Rodriguez is pitching today against Jordan Montgomery. Man, Montgomery, Montgomery's not that great a pitcher, but Tampa made him look like Cy Young. Yeah, and, I, and uh, he's left-handed. So trying to... So he's, Gunner, left-handed. he's left-handed and Gunner's left-handed. So is Cedric Mullins... But uh, they got you know, Santander is switch. Rushman's a switch. They got Aaron Hicks in the lineup as a switch. I, I don't. I'm, I'm not big on that Aaron Hicks uh, in a lineup. I, I would have thought they're gonna play. Uh, God, what's his name? I will. I'm having well, a bad. I mean, I, they. They used they. I thought they might have uh, Santander in uh, in right field, and uh, or O'Hearn. Is it O'Hearn? Yeah. So Colton Kowser, which is now in the minors, Austin Hayes Hicks. Uh, is Kajerstad on their major league roster? He was at the end of the season. Yeah. I don't know if he, made, uh, know if he got on the playoff team. But yeah, Austin, Austin, Austin Hayes is who I was thinking of. Austin Hayes is who I was thinking of. He he started yesterday, but they pulled him for uh, Aaron Hicks, I believe. No, Hicks started in right field. Oh, did he? No, they brought in. Uh, oh, I, it was Mount Castle. I was watching. And I thought it was Hayes. Mount Castle played first base. Right. Uh, Hicks was in in my. Uh, Mullins was in center. And uh, that left fielder made a heck of a catch. And he's a great left fielder. Well, what was his name? For the Orioles? Yeah. It's either a Santander or... No, oh, Santander was the was DH. DH. Uh, Aaron Hicks. Was in right. Cedric was in center. Austin Hayes went out there. Name another outfielder. Uh, I can't. Stores. Stowers. Stores. I can't remember names to save my life. I'm. I'm, I'm yeah, I'm going blank today. I'm, I am a little loopy for not enough sleep. 
No, that's – but, I mean, they, they – uh, the Orioles and the Dodgers, that week off didn't help them. They Ryan, o, Ryan O'Hearn is a left fielder. Right. But, see, he – that's what I thought they might – I thought they might uh, uh, play – have O'Hearn as the um, – as the DH bench hits, O'Hearn will be the DH, and Santander would play right, and that way that you get O'Hearn in the in the lineup. But right. he decided to play Hicks. Hicks is a better defensive outfielder, that's for sure, and he's doing a lot better with the Orioles than he did with the Yankees, <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah, I mean, well, that was an emergency pickup during the year. If everybody yeah, got hurt. hurt, and they also had a couple other injuries as well, and they needed a, a guy with a little bit more bat. They won't ready to pull up some guys from the minors yet. I just don't know if 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 uh, the Rangers can keep putting pulling rabbits out of their hat on their pitching staff because uh, right you kind of figure sooner or later that's going to catch up with them. Well, they did I have to think, use I, quite they did have to use quite a few of the bullpen yesterday in Baltimore. They just didn't look like they they just didn't look sharp. To me, I, they well, just, everybody's worried about because how young these this group has. It's a week off. That week off doesn't help. It doesn't I, help I, I feel all. it's more than that than the playoff atmosphere, because I was talking. A guy stopped me. I had my Orioles hat on. I was in Walmart trying to get the heck out of there. So I come, it was in delay, and I didn't know it. I'm trying to get out of Walmart so I can get home and watch the game, and uh, and he 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 said something to me, and I was you know. I just, well, we'll see. He goes, well, you know, it's a bunch of young guys. And I was like, but they're going to play loose. That's what I'm hoping for. Is they're going to, they've been loose all year, fighting for first place, fighting off Tampa. Why, why all of a sudden, because it's the postseason's on the side of their hat, that changes anything. I, I know it does some people, but, you know, they've been battling all year. So I, I feel like they're, they're kind of built for this. But was I'm I'm interested to see Grayson Rodriguez on this stage. This is a guy they've been hoping for. Uh, came up early, brought him up. Didn't wasn't what they thought. Sending him back down, and he came back and he pitched. He was a different man. Uh, hopefully, that's the guy we get today at four o'clock. I know we. Sorry, uh, we're harping on the Orioles, but that's how <laughs> we've been that's Orioles team, fans for a while. Team both of us are rooting for now. I mean, right. out of everybody that's left, I still like Atlanta some because they were my team once, but I'm rooting for the Orioles. I root against teams more than I root for teams sometimes. Yeah, me too. So I Although root. it would be so funny if Minnesota ran the table and played in the World Series, and they would have a World Series game in November in Minnesota without a dome. Target field. 28 degrees, boys and girls, and we're playing <laughs> baseball. Yeah. Well, MLB would hate it if Minnesota goes to the World Series. Because <laughs> we, we were – because at one point somebody was like, what, what if uh, – you know, because if Minnesota plays Arizona – MLB would lose their minds. Well, see, the, there's only one league that can get away with stuff like that. Only one, and that's the Football. NFL. NFL, yeah. The NFL. If the NFL has a Super Bowl and it has the Minnesota Vikings playing the Arizona Cardinals, guess what, guys? Well, that wouldn't be there in the same league. But if right. Ten, all right, let's say Tennessee Titans plays the uh, Cardinals in the Super Bowl. You're going to have a billion people watch because right. it's an event, not a ball game. Right. And so right. it doesn't matter who's in the Super Bowl. They're going to have huge ratings. Right. But every other, every other major sport, you tr they always would like some of the high-density uh, yeah. metropolitan areas like New York, L.A., Chicago, and mm -hmm. Philadelphia to have those high-density areas um, well, in, in, in the playoffs so they have more fans watch. When they said they got a group together to get Major League Baseball here in this area, I was like, the area they're talking about is very densely populated. It wouldn't be – it'll be another, like, Carolina. It wouldn't be called Raleigh or whatever. It'd be, like, Carolina whatever or, yeah. you know, because it would represent the whole area, not just the city. Um, so it, it I, I think that's – 
kind of the way it would probably go like the Panthers or well, Charlotte, but it did, uh, you know, just, I think it would just represent the state, the area. And I, I, I just, again, back, I, it's just so many areas hungry for baseball, but I'm sitting here looking at it. Uh, did anything, it seems like we had good umpire calls. I haven't heard anybody really griping about umpires overall. There were a, I know, few, there were a few where, you know, the umpire, but in like, like the one game, the, he was not, the ball would come uh, high strikes. He wasn't calling, but he was calling the balls. No, I'm sorry. He was calling high strikes or maybe above the strike zone a strike, but the low pitches could be right in the heart of the strike zone. He was calling them a ball, but here again, he was consistent. Right. So the batters had to adapt to it. They had to adapt. Right. And that's what I've always said. As long as the umpire is consistent, that's fine. Yep. And I mean, I'm sitting there looking at that box because <laughs> that right. the box, I mean, and the pitch is maybe an inch outside or an inch or two outside and it's called a strike, but it's still outside. But right. now with that box up there, everybody goes nuts because they right. can tell, you know, oh, and, and well, our, I've, Hernandez, I've, you know, our boy Hernandez graded out worse than major league umpire. He was worse. Yeah, but he's still, I guarantee you, he'll have either the championship series or the world series. I'll guarantee you, you will. It's going to be a sad day, but anyway, he, he's hard, but it, we don't want to talk about him today. Uh, no, I just thought I'd I did. That. Yeah, I know. I, I, I saw that too, but I, I really thought, uh, I saw that one great, like one guy missed 13 balls and strikes in a game. And I'm like, who cares? Like 13 is not a bad number. That's a that's almost one pitch in it. I mean, for two for top half of bottom half, it ain't like he comes up once an inning and they call balls and strikes. He's back there for every pitch. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's the 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 truth about it. Well, uh, if you have two pitchers, let's say they both pitch a complete game and throw 109 pitches. That's 218 pitches, and he missed 13? Yeah, so he would miss, like, less than 1%. No, 10%? It, it, yeah. It, 9% it, of pitches yeah, he so missed? like 9%, which still is it, probably And then how many of those are borderline or whatever? I'm like, get out and of when here. They, Scott, when they say miss 13 pitches, are they talking about this much, or are they talking about this much? Right, right, right. That That's 100% correct. And that, was he consistent? And that's that's the most important part, uh, but yeah, I've, I've been happy about that. The, the talk has been about the games, the baseball, the games. and that and that's what we that's all we want. That's that's all we ask. Uh, but anything jump out at you, Dad? At you know, in this playoff, that's been peculiar to you, or something. You well, know, no, it's just it, it. It always amazes me how. The game is different than the regular season, mm -hmm. and that's you know it's the intensity, uh, the stress. You could tell that uh, that those young kids for the Orioles last night. This was a different feeling. Mm -hmm. I don't care how you talk to them, how much you talk. Oh, and by the way, <laughs> for the poor people in Tampa that had almost set a record for inept ineptitude for fandom at their first game, first two get those first two games. The Orioles had intra-squad games three days this week, last, you know, this past week. Mm -hmm. Wednesday afternoon, they had an inter-squad game at 2 o'clock. 5,000 fans. 5,000 to an inter-squad game. They can't get 20,000 at Tampa for a playoff game, and they get 5,000 in Baltimore to an inter-squad game? Oh, my goodness. Tampa? They don't deserve the it. Move the team. They don't deserve it. They don't deserve it. And and that was uh sad to see. And and the true fans that are in Tampa, I feel for them, but sorry, not sorry. Need to move the team. Uh for me, I'm I'm loving the fact that Arizona moved on. That was my big look look at this moment. Um I think it's awesome. Young talent. And uh, Arizona beating Milwaukee 
it looks like Milwaukee's going to make an offer on Council because he's, you know, he finishes his contract this year. But my understanding is that general manager with the Mets, they're buddy buddy. So yeah. they think he's going to go to the Mets. That's what I keep reading. And the guy that and the guy that the Mets got rid of looks like he's wanting to go to California and sign with the Angels. He signs oh. with the Angels. He signs with the Angels. Trout and Otani are thinking about staying if he signs if he signs as their manager. Uh I, I love. It, I know a lot of people don't like the uh, division, like two player, two teams in a division playing each other. We got a National League is both of them, but man, the Arizona Dodgers doesn't catch you as a rivalry as of yet. Things could change, but it's still great to see the Phillies and the Braves play each other in the playoffs. Even though it'd have been better in the NLCS, yeah. but it's still great. It's a great rivalry game. Um, well, if they'd, had, if they'd have had the seating, they had a seating like Sweet 16 in, in, in basketball in, in March and April, where once you're seated there, you're seated there, and you play in that group. But mm-hmm. to me, if you if you had the best team playing the worst, and the best, once the first those first few games are over, Arizona had a worse record than Philly. They should have played Atlanta, and Philly should have played the Dodgers. That's just what I'm thinking. If you're going to go by one loss, you, saw, you yeah. follow them. Yeah, but the Phillies. But they had already, but they'd already set up the brackets, so right. that they couldn't move like that. Well, I mean, yeah, the Arizona has the worst record, I guess. But yeah, it's kind of how it just fell, I guess. The I, I see what you're saying. See, that's what Jim Palmer was saying about um, if Tampa Bay with the second record, best record in in uh, in the American League, um, they were in the same bracket with the Orioles. You know, he couldn't. He said because yeah. who knew they were going to lose? So, but I mean, yeah, it's just how because they got to get the one team, the one team that won the division. They're the three seed, no matter what their record is. Right. So that's just how it is. And then there, I, I, I mean, in the a, a, ALCS, it's very possible to have the battle for Texas. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, if, if Texas, it'd be te- Houston against Dallas. All right. Houston against Texas. Yeah. So, yeah. So they're, they're outside of Dallas. So. Yeah. In Arlington. That's where I know uh, I caught what you're saying after you took me a second. Uh, but I'm hoping to see a Twins Baltimore series. Oh, that'd be great. Uh, I, that's that's what I'm hoping for. I, I just I like me personally. I just don't want to. I don't want to see Houston in a World Series again. I just don't. Let, I, take I don't either. But the, the only reason I want Houston and Philly in is so I have bragging rights. Yeah, because you. That's the team teacher. <laughs> I picked them at the beginning of the season. Uh, I wish I'd have went and put about ten dollars on it and. Uh, but you know that's just the way it is. Uh, I did play Powerball last night. Nobody won, so uh, I guess I feel a little better that if I didn't win, somebody, everybody else didn't win either. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I'm just hoping for good continued baseball. Even though with two, everybody in the first round won in two games, I still thought it was some good games, good baseball. And uh, I'm just hoping for more of that. I, I, I like to see Baltimore. I like to see some of my friends uh, be happy with the Twins. As much as I hate to say it, at least if Philly wins, I have Philly friends. Uh, you know, I don't, I'm not a Dodger fan whatsoever. Uh, just never have been. And uh, wouldn't mind seeing Arizona move on. I like, or the Braves. I'd be happy with the Braves, Arizona, Arizona beating the Braves. Uh, but it's it's a fun postseason. Like to see different teams. Uh, that's that's how I'm feeling about it. But uh, if that's all we got, Dad, we can yep. put this one in the books. I think if, it, if I'm I'm just going to throw this out there, I got to. I'm just going to throw it out there. Okay. Philadelphia playing Baltimore in the World Series, the, a replay of the 1983 World Series. That would be awesome. <laughs> that would be awesome. So until next time, like, share, tell a friend. Tell us down below who you think should be uh, moving on. Uh, 
If we missed anything, please let me know. Uh, some friends have been letting me know some boo-boos here and there or some good, good insight as well. Uh, let me know what you're thinking about the playoffs. Uh, any moves, uh, Cy Youngs, MVPs, rookies, whatever. Till next time, see ya.